Well, hello, hello, hello. OMG, I am so happy that you are here. I am taking you back to October 17th when I first started my dining room project. This room was literally a huge cluttered mess. Some of you may have already seen that video where I basically decluttered the whole room other than inside of any of the hidden spaces. But do we remember this video? Well, today I am going to be finishing the decluttering project in this room and I am going to be revealing my brand new dining room because I had a painter come in and remove the wallpaper, although I love this wallpaper. It is very loud and I know it wouldn't be everybody's style, um, but I have enjoyed it for 10 years and it was definitely time for a change. And so I'm so excited to be revealing all my whole new dining room to you. So if you are new here, would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new. I would love to welcome you. And if you are already subscribed, I appreciate you coming back to another video. Let's get into these hidden spaces in this dining room and finish our decluttering. And then I will give you the reveal of my new dining room. I am the queen of shoving things into any space that is hidden available that I don't remember I have it. So this is what the inside of my china hutch looks like. We are going to get to decluttering all of this. Oh my gosh. Look, I found more gift bags. <laughs> Holy gamoli, I have a lot of gift bags. Oh my gosh, I found some trophies in here from bowling leagues that we've been on. Oh, this is all the stuff I have pulled out so far. Uh, I know where most of it's going and um, a couple of things I'll be throwing away. And I don't think I have anything. Yes, this is my donate pile. So I'm, I'm already starting a donation bag. All of these gift bags and boxes I'm gonna take down. I have a drawer in my basement. So now I will know where they are and a dang empty box from a MacBook that I bought years ago. Why I kept the empty box, I don't know. We're gonna throw it in the recycling bin. Oh, and a little project that Grayson made, a little pottery thing. I'm gonna keep that. I like having my donation bag right next to me and my garbage bag on the other side so I can put it right into donation or right into garbage as I need to. And any recycling, I can just take right out into the recycling bin. And just like I've done with other projects because decluttering can be so overwhelming and really truly such an emotional process to try to figure out what to keep and not to keep, I'm doing this over multiple days. I'm picking pockets of time. I'm not trying to tackle this all in one day. So take it slow when you are decluttering. At least for me, that works much better. I'm finding a ton of like old manuals of things that I don't even own anymore. Those are pretty easy to get rid of. I don't know why I would keep those. I'm throwing the bowling trophies away. I haven't looked at them. I didn't even remember I had them in years. So they're just gonna get trashed. And this little state thing, my husband's a Michigan fan, so I'm gonna trash that as well. and a whole huge pile of my girls' schoolwork. I don't know why I kept all of this. I mean, it's like every assignment that they ever did. <laughs> why did I feel like I needed to keep it all? I'm trashing it now, oh my gosh. I am in the habit now when they bring home their schoolwork once a week, I go through it and decide what I wanna keep and what I wanna get rid of so this never builds up like this again. 
No idea what that cord's for. And I found several planners that I never used. Who else has bought so many planners that they never used? So I'm gonna donate those. I found two old video cameras, like super old. I don't know what to do with these. Uh, I'm gonna keep them for now. I gotta figure that out. So far, so good. I've got everything in the trash bag, everything in the donation bag. I've got some recycling. These are some things that I'm going to keep that I'll reorganize and get back in the shelves. Um, and if they don't belong in the dining room, I'll put them where they belong. I'm gonna dust this out, cause Lord knows it has not been dusted out in years because you can't dust over clutter. <laughs> so we're going to give it a good polish and shine it all up. And then I'm going to put the things back in there that I'm going to be keeping. So my china hutch and my dining room table actually belonged to my great aunt. And when she passed away, um, it was in her trust that every piece, everything that she owned had to be sold. So my mother actually bought me this china hutch and the dining room table. It's such amazing wood. Like they do not make sets like this anymore. Grayson had suggested that maybe I should paint it and have a whole new dining room, but I can't bring myself to paint it. Remember those plates that my aunt gave me from my last video? I have room now to put them inside until I figure out what I'm gonna do with them so they won't be sitting out on the table. This is the bottom drawer of the hutch. I have old window coverings from our old house. I don't even know why I saved those. So I'm gonna go through this and declutter anything in here. Oh, I found some little art projects that Grayson made me when she was little. I remember when my grandma helped her do this for me. It might've been like a Mother's Day gift or something. But back to this furniture set, like this china hutch and my dining room table is probably over 50 years old and it is still in such amazing condition. So I think I'm just gonna keep it the way it is because it really is such a beautiful piece and I just don't think that I wanna paint it. Now to go through the little drawers that are up on top and figure out what I'm keeping and what I'm not keeping. I have all these dang old lottery tickets that I saved in case I hit it big so I would have write-offs. Totally ridiculous. We're getting rid of them. And an old iPhone. Oh my gosh. What do you do with your old phones? I think I probably have three old iPhones that I've kept. And look at this. I found another one of these. $20 winner. Guess what? I already took it to the store. They said it's already been cashed just like the last one. What in the world? I have so many banking supplies from when my branch got close to that I'm that I kept. I think I'm gonna still keep some of them since I do a lot of cash stuffing now and I have a lot more cash than I used to, just in case I ever need them. But again, this is how the clutter starts. But you know, you gotta pick your battles here. What are you gonna get rid of and what are you gonna keep? And I've gotten rid of a ton of stuff. I'm keeping the banking stuff. I can't hardly believe it, but this drawer hardly had anything in it, so that was nice. Well, that empty drawer makes up for this totally jam-packed drawer. And I found some tacks in the other drawer, and look at I found a whole box of tacks. I swear, we're always looking for tacks for different things. I didn't even know I had a whole dang box of them, so that's nice.
This little thing says baby's first curls and OMG, it had hair in it. I'm guessing it was from Grayson. Okay, now we're going on to these two drawers here. <laughs> we got jam-packed mess. And I'm finding a whole bunch of pictures. Look at Donna Jean, little cute pictures. Oh my gosh, why did I put all these pictures in here? Now I have a space for my pictures, so I'm going to move all these pictures into another room. And I found these little um, outlet covers. I think I'm gonna save those because those will come in handy for EJ. And look at that cute daddy, daddy daughter dance pictures. It is seriously so helpful having my garbage bag right next to me so I can throw away anything that needs to be thrown away and my donation bag right next to me so I'm not creating more of a mess on the floor or on the table or something else. And more pictures, oh my gosh, these are from when I was 19 years old and went to Cancun with my friends, how fun. The China Hutch is almost completely decluttered. I am so excited. I'm putting all of the um, outlet covers into a bag so I have those. And the last drawer here is my silverware drawer. This actually has, oh look, more glasses. <laughs> this actually has um, my silverware that I had registered for when I got married, like the good silverware. So there's not too much stuff in this drawer, thank goodness, but we're gonna clean it out and make it just the good silverware that hasn't been used in years. Here it is, it's a beautiful set. I really need to have like, I don't know, I need to pull out the good china and the good silverware on holidays when I have family over. And I saved the cake cutter from our wedding, which these have gotten quite tarnished, so um, I'll have to Google how to fix that. Okay, we're gonna move to the next cabinet. The china hutch is done. I did one side of this when I did my dining room declutter, but I didn't do this side of it. So I'm gonna get this all cleaned out and decluttered as well. Looks like I've got a couple of things to donate. This is a brand new coach wristlet that has never been used. Another planner, look at that. And I just recently bought a cake holder because I didn't know I had one from all the dang clutter, OMG. This is one of my old coach purses. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. I might save this to sell in a yard sale. I'm not saving much to sell in a yard sale because then I would have a house still full of clutter. I am donating most of it, but there might be a couple of things that I save here or there in uh, hopes that maybe I'll have a yard sale next year and sell it. The inside is completely decluttered, and now we are going to polish this furniture. And this nozzle is not working good on this pledge, and you know, I'm a couponer, and I don't have any more furniture polish in my stockpile. None, this is my only bottle, OMG. All right, we're gonna move a piece of furniture into the dining room. This has been in my foyer from when they painted, so I'm gonna move it in here. Thank goodness it's on wheels. This is my liquor cabinet. Uh, we're not really big drinkers, but this one's kind of fun because it has a little key to it, so you can lock it up if you have kids. And you know it, it has storage in here, so I jam-packed it full of stuff, and now I got to declutter. 
Who has 50 million 31 bags? Because I have a ton of them. Those are really nice bags. Some donation items in here. Uh, some throwaway items in here. Some recycling items in here. I got it all. Oh, this is a good book. Maybe it's you. It's really about holding yourself accountable for your own fate and things that happen in your life. I highly recommend that book. I have some old teacups down here. These were my great aunts. I have literally never ever used these. I think I'm just keeping them out of guilt. Uh, I need to figure out what to do with those. All right, now we're gonna move over to the other side of the cabinet, which is actually liquor. And I, I just noticed that there's a shelf in here like we haven't even touched this in forever i don't know why we took this shelf out i think because there were some tall liquor bottles i'm gonna see if i can figure out how to put it back in there so i can create some more space in here Oh my gosh, I am almost done. I have one bag here full of donation items that I will drop off at the donation center tomorrow, and then one bag of garbage. The last thing I need to tackle is the dining room. Table is actually full of stuff. This is all the outlet covers that I replaced when we did the painting and like the doorknobs and stuff. I think I'm just gonna throw those away because I don't know why I'd keep them. my bag for my ring light. I will definitely be keeping that. Okay, here we go again. I'm giving you one last sneak peek from October 17th. This was the before of my dining room. A completely, totally cluttered mess. I had the wallpaper. This was a non-functional dining room all together. It was a dumping ground. I cannot wait to show you the new dining room. Okay, we are all finished. I cannot wait to show you. Are you ready to see the new and improved dining room? Like I said, it is about 90% done. Um, I still have to do the floor, but let's take a look. Oh my gosh. Here it is. The walls have been painted, the wallpaper removed. I got a new light. Everything is nice and organized. Of course, that looks horrendous, but you know, we're just going to roll with it. It is what it is right now. This is what I could do for now. I am so in love. I don't know if you guys remember, I'll pop a picture up on the screen. When I had the painter come, uh, these windows, all of my windows throughout all of my house have these like slots in them. The picture will be up there. And she took them out because she was going to paint them. And I was like, why does that window look so much bigger? And she goes, well, because of these. I said, do not put them in. It looks so much bigger and brighter. I love it. So I still have to get a wall. I'm going to get a wall covering for in here. I haven't decided what I'm going to do. That's really the only thing besides the floor that's not finished. But we have no clutter. There's our liquor cabinet, I guess you'd call it. 
<laughs> with the liquor that's been in there a year or years, I should say. So this is what I went with on the top. And let me tell you, the painter had a heck of a time removing the wallpaper because there was wallpaper on top of the wallpaper, a OMG. Not on the bottom though. The bottom only had the one layer of wallpaper. So that came off a lot easier. And the walls down here, you're not going to be able to tell through the camera, but the walls down here are a lot smoother where this one has more of a texture to it because of the wallpaper behind it. But she said, you know, I'm going to ruin your walls if I try to take that off. So I might put some, I don't know, pictures or something because it's pretty bare. Um, but this is what the dining room looks like. I think it's quite an incredible before and after. I only have one little thing over there that I still haven't decided what I'm doing with that. And that's my husband's lunchbox. He just always sets it there when he gets home. As I've told you guys, real people live here. So it's not like there's never going to be any clutter. Oh, and let me show you. Let's look at what the painter did. She's so awesome. She was able to get one piece of um, my wallpaper. So this was my wallpaper before. Everything else came off in little pieces and she framed it for me. So I think I'm going to hang it up in here. Isn't that so sweet? So this is the new dining room. The best part is not only is the room completely decluttered, but every hidden space is decluttered. It has things in it. Well, actually, I think I might even have a couple. Well, I have a lot of empty space now. I have some empty drawers up there. This is all nice and decluttered and organized. So super duper happy with it. I love this green color. It looks a little blue in the camera, um, but the lighting is bad because the sun went down. So anyways, there you go. This is the new and improved dining room. Super duper happy with it. Definitely leave me in the comments what project you are working on. This took a few weeks to get all done, of course, because I had the painting and everything done, but um, just super duper pleased with it. Oh, funny story I'll share with you. When we lived in our small house, uh, this set was in our dining room, which we had a, uh, half of the size house. When we moved to this house, we had hired a sitter when Donna was six weeks old um, because I didn't want to put my kids in daycare. It just was more cost effective to have somebody come into my home with two little kids than send two kids to daycare. And I just preferred them to be home. Um, when we moved, Donna was just over one years old. And when we moved all of this and put this up, my sitter, who had been with us for a year at that point, said, oh, I love this beautiful set you got. I said, Katie, this was at the old house. She goes, it was? I said, yeah, you just couldn't see anything because it was so full of clutter. <laughs> so I've got all my china, all my crystal that I never use, but you know, I got married in the 90s and it was the thing to register for all the china and the crystal and all of that stuff. So I got a ton of wedding gifts for it and I have it. And I don't know, maybe I should just start using it. All right, there you go. That's what I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will see you again next week for another decluttering project. Bye!